Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Saha Kudash Lalam Yah. Uh, when Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the Word and He calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, who the Word and He calls Jesus Christ. Uh, I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach the world who will rule well, well in these last days, and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, whether you can teach it or not. We talk this 100% true. I want to give a strong shalom to all the Aki, one of the four points of the earth, which is the truth and sincerity, making the call and the lecture sure, making the body live a sacrifice. And also to give a humble citation to the elect of the nation of Israel, it's got to go the four corners of the earth, no matter what your outside appearance may be. All right, this is Brother Michelle, come back at you with a quick in trans and lesson for the spirit of Bobby Hobbush Gashai. Representing the Prince Great Millstone, I'm going to say, Kawadi Hobbush Gashai, forgive the spirit and have the mercy for allowing me to do this lesson. And uh, the title of this lesson will be uh, Famili Familiarity uh, Breeds Contempt or Contentment. All right, Familiarity Breeds Contentment. All right, now, what does that mean? All right, being familiar with a, a certain place, a certain situation, uh, allows you to become uh, 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 lax, right? Um, you know, comfortable, all right? And um, when the elders came up from Chicago, you know, Elder Uriah and Elder Yaku, uh, you know, we would, we would, you know, uh, break the bread, you know, all the brothers, and, uh, you know, we were all talking about, you know, uh, not being, uh, uh, comfortable in, the, in this in this in this uh, in this captivity, okay? Because Baruch three and eight says we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay, so being content, okay, being happy with where you're at, you know, not searching for more, not want, not desiring uh, uh, better, right? That's being content. One thing that you're supposed to be content with is. Uh, uh, what you get from your Bashim Yah Shad. Okay, not the not this wicked place that we that were that we were uh carried away carried away captive to. Alright, because when it, uh when you read uh second Ezra's the fourth chapter, alright, uh the angel told, told Ezra um that you that you have gone uh uh too far uh in this world to understand the ways of the most high. Okay, so now what do you have? You have Jake with their mindset uh, being comfortable in captivity, being comfortable being as slaves. All right, and when you got it, when you when you read Jeremiah the second chapter, it talks about that. He said uh, he asked the, he asked the Lord, is Israel a, home, uh, a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? All right, because no matter what. Uh, you know, uh, captivity we we, we, we we were in, we got comfortable there, man. All right, we started practicing the, the ways of our captors. We started sympathizing with our captors. All right, that, that's called Stockholm Syndrome. Okay, and especially with the uh, with the Greek hill, uh, hillization, man, under the Greek rulership. All right, we were forced to, uh, you know, to uh, obey their customs and and their uh, eat their foods and uh, their music, okay, and their uh, wardrobe. Then what? What happened? Then then the Israelites became Greeks. Okay, they became Gentiles. It's the same thing with with uh, with, the, with the red, white, and blue. All right, we were we were forced out of our native tongue. Right, we were forced out of our 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 our, uh, our dietary laws, right? Our ceremonial laws, called on the names of the Lord, knowing that we're Israelites. We we were Hellenized into the uh, 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 the red, white, and blue uh, mindset. Now we have the same uh, names. Uh, uh, all these American uh, names and shit, man. All right, but, but the, the thing is, though, is that, like I'm just gonna say uh, uh, in Deuteronomy, right, about Jeshurun waxing, waxing fat, okay, that got lazy with the, with the, by what? By succumbing to the mindset of the red, white, and blue. Okay, but Micah 2.10 says that, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. 
It'll, it will destroy you even with the sword of destruction. And this is why our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because they don't even they, they don't even know, they don't even consider, like it says in Isaiah, they don't even consider who the Lord is, man. We don't even consider our power. Oh, this is part of the uh, the, the the red, white, and blue uh, Hellen Hellenization. What do you think they did all that to, to beat beat the hell out of us? You know, call it, uh, strike fear into us. So what? So what? So we can remember that we're Israelites? No. And if we knew who we were, we, that we would have been out of here, man. Like I said, the first Kings, the eighth chapter, that we, if we would have prayed to the east, all of us, the Lord would have been got us away, got us out of here, man. So it's always that that uh, falling away, man. All right, and that falling away now, uh, uh, you know, has um, has caused from fami uh, fami familiarity. And now, what now? What you see? You got Jake uh, setting off fireworks for the Fourth of July, wearing uh, 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 red, white, and blue uh, shorts and flip flops and all type of stuff, right? You got Jake trying to buy their last, uh, spending their last for, for for some chicken head, you know, for uh, Valentine's Day. Right? You got, uh, you know, um, uh, Big Mama, you know, cooking them cooking them chitlins and, and pork chops for, for Thanksgiving. All right, all this is uh, familiar familiarity with this with this with this man's ways, man. And now this is why Jake is content with where they're at. They've got comfortable. You know the, the saying in the world is if you, if you wanna if you wanna uh, be great, you gotta do things that that you're not that you're uh, you're not comfortable with doing. All right, that's called breaking through. You know, it's like an addict. You know, an addict goes to rehab, and, it, and what do they do? They make themselves uncomfortable by what? By by uh, by forcing the body uh, to withdraw from the uh, the things that they were uh, hooked on. All right, and, and, and right now, two thirds is, is is hooked on the juice of Babylon, man. On the wine of Babylon, and, and Isaiah, and the, the prophet Isaiah said. That you, you stagger with, but, but you stumble with, but, but not with strong drink. Uh, you stagger, but not with wine. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, but Jake is stu uh, drunk off the philosophies and the doctrines and the bullshit that Esau uh, puts out, man. And now this is why you got Jake in the hood uh, uh, killing each other over over a, a, a street. Or an area that's not even theirs, man. Off of, over an area that that's 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 owned by by, by Edomites. This is why you have Eve that that uh, constantly wants to dye her hair, putting on pounds of makeup, uh, wearing lashes and and, and uh, nails and all this stuff. All that's heathen. Uh, customs, man. But what familiar familiarity of this place has our mindset thinking that that's okay, that's accepted. And sure, that's accepted of, 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 of man, right? But what about the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yashad? That's who the ones that we're trying to please. All right, so we got to come out of this, man. Why do you think the Lord is only dealing with a certain remnant number? Because people love Babylon the Great, man. When John the Revelator saw the uh, the whore that was riding on that beast, he marveled at her. Because why? Because because she was enticing. She was uh, pleasing to the flesh. All right, when you're able to pre please your flesh. You start doing things that, that you shouldn't be doing. All right, this place is, is designed for you to go off, man. So this is 
why Jake doesn't want to leave. This, this is why Jake, when, 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 we are, when, 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 when men are out there in the highways and hedges, talking about America's going to be destroyed, you got Jake, oh no, I don't want to hear that. See, that one, they, they want to hear those smooth words, man. They want to hear those T.D. Jake's words. All right, and Joel Osteen. Those smooth words. Because this, this, this word is, is, is hard. Because we have to be austere to, to go through these things. Alright, so familiar, familiarity brings contentment, man. We, 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 we almost out this bad boy, man. You know what I'm saying? The word we, we about to blow this popsicle stand. Alright, so hey, Lord, 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 Lord Williams, that's what's edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite worship to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Hakodash Longamel. Double honor to the Apostle of the Great Millstone. I'm saving Wath Love the Ball. Shalom.